this is actually gonna be my weekly makeup basket. I'm a little bit late, but you know, I thought I would upload one anyways, just because it's been a little bit since I uploaded a video. Um, I do have a couple videos that I filmed, I just haven't had time to edit and upload them, but anyway, back to this video. Um, if you've never seen one of my weekly makeup baskets before, all I've done is I've went through my makeup, I've picked out some stuff that I want to wear for this coming week, and I'm just going to go through and show it to you how I would apply it to my face. So starting off, I have the Laura Mercier foundation primer. This one's in the radiant radiance version. I really love this because I have dry skin so I don't get like that natural glow automatically. I have to fake it and this is a really beautiful product. It just gives a nice luminous glow to your skin. You can either put this down all over the face before you put down foundation or you can actually mix this in with the foundation and apply it that way. So then I pulled out one of my favorite products ever. This is the Pond Luminous Finish BB Cream. This one is in the light version. Now this is starting to become really difficult to find since they're kind of pulling it off the shelves and discontinuing it. I do have a couple backups. This is my third bottle of this and I've heard rumors that you can find it at Big Lots. I haven't been over to Big Lots recently. I'm trying to be good and not spend money on unnecessary products, but this is definitely my hands down favorite face product. I also have two concealers this week. The first one is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. This one's in NW15 and I have, I don't know, maybe a little less than half of the product left in here. It's really thick. I like to put this at the inner corner of my eye to kind of combat the dark circles under my eyes, but it's a really lovely product and if you have any breakouts on your face, this definitely covers it too. I also have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This one's in number 15 and its shade is Fair. This is actually quite comparable to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in shade 2. For my face powder this week, I'm sticking with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Light Plus. I've noticed I'm kind of going through this pretty quickly. It used to be all domed up, you know, but um, I really love this powder. It's very sheer, very finely milled, and it looks beautiful on the skin. The bronzer I'm going to be playing with this week is my NARS Laguna Bronzer. I love this stuff so much. There it is in the container. I did do a little swatch for you guys. It's right there. It's a really light product and believe it or not, I was so scared to try the Laguna Bronzer for the longest time because I thought it would be too dark, but it's almost perfect for my skin tone and I'm about, you know, anywhere between an NW10 to NW15 in MAC and I'm like a 150 in the Revlon color stay. So this is a perfect product for light skin. For my blushes, I do have two of them. I have a NYX powder blush here. This is in the shade Angel. And I also have the Tarte blush in Exposed. Let me give you swatches of these really quick. Oh my goodness, I was just swiping my finger in the Tarte blush and I hit pan. I was right next to the pan. That was crazy. Anyway, if you're a project panner, you'll understand how exciting that feeling is. But anyway, so on the back of my hand here, this is the NYX blush in Angel. It's really light. It's very easy to wear. I put this at the front of my cheeks and then I have Tarte Exposed. It pulls a little bit more rosy on my skin tone since I am so fair, but I wear that further back and they kind of just really blend together beautifully. Then onto my highlighter, I have the Physician's Formula Powder Palette. This one is their Mineral Glow Pearls in Translucent Pearl. And funny thing is, when I was applying this to my face this morning, I hit pan on this one too. So they have a couple different shades in the Physician's Formula Pearl Palette things here, but this one is in translucent. This is so gorgeous and you can definitely have just a light sheen on your face or you can build it up to be more intense like I did today. You can definitely see that highlight. I put it underneath the brows, down the center of the face, the cheekbone. I'll even pop it in at the inner corner of my eye and blend it over to be an eyeshadow too. But if you look really close, right in the center, right there, I hit pan, so I was really happy about that too. Then I'm gonna go on to my lip products here. So I have a couple lipsticks. 
I have two MAC lipsticks that I want to play with this week. I have Please Me. It's, it's a warm tone pink is how I would describe it. That is it right there. It almost has a hint of red on my lips. I was wearing this earlier today, but that is it there. It's matte, so I definitely have to put down some kind of a um, lip balm first, or I have to put a lip gloss over the top of it. So there's that one. The other lipstick is Lovelorn. This is a gorgeous kind of more of a blue-based pink compared to the Please Me shade. This is a luster finish, so it has a little bit more of that shine. It's not matte. You can see it's right there. I have Love Lauren on my lips right now. It's beautiful. I really love this lipstick. Um, I, over the top of Love Lauren on my lips, I have a little bit of this Buxom Full On Lip Cream. This one's in Pink Lady. This is just a little mini sample that I got from the... I think it was the VIB sale, like the Rouge event. I don't remember seeing this one at Sephora. Maybe it's a new shade, or maybe I just never paid that close of attention, but there it is on the back of my hand, right there. And it does have that cooling, kind of pepperminty, stinging feeling on the lips. I also have the Bite Beauty lip gloss in Rambutan, I think. Um, I finished off the majority of it, but as you can see, I only have from about right here down left in the container. I can't reach the lip gloss anymore with the applicator wand in here, so I was a little bummed about that, but I actually had a really sweet surprise show up in my P.O. box this past week. It was from Kristen K. I'll go ahead and link her channel in the description box in case you want to go and check her out. She does a lot of project pans and empties videos and that kind of thing too, but she sent me the Swoon for Sephora lip gloss lip gloss pickup artist right here and that is what it looks like on the side. I'm so excited that they have one of these at Sephora. I have one of those beauty spatula spoon things but it's a little bit bigger than you know some of my glosses and it definitely would not fit in that so this was a really exciting item to have in my P.O. box so there it is right there and then you just pull the applicator out and this is actually a silicone tip right here, so you can definitely reach down in there and it's bendable, it's maneuverable, you can get every last little drop of product out. I'm really excited to use this with my Bite Lip Gloss. I'm testing out a couple perfectly posh items and this is one of them. This is the Candied Lip Dye in Caddy Coral. This is a really nice product. So. That's what it looks like in the container there. It's kind of like a lip stain. They do have some darker colors that would stain your lips a little bit better, but this is so moisturizing and it just feels amazing on the lips. There it is in the container there again, and it's gonna be hard to see in the swatch because it's a very light pinky coral nude kind of shade. It's beautiful on the lips though. That's it right there. It's a really nice moisturizing formula. It has a very, very subtle sweet scent to it. Products I'm gonna have a review and a little giveaway with some of their products coming up on my channel in a couple days, hopefully, and this is gonna be one of them, but in a different shade. So if you're interested in some perfectly posh items, I do have something coming up. I have one color tattoo in pure nude. This is kind of a sort of a champagne beige shimmery color. That's it right there. All right, there is pure nude on the back of my hand. It is quite light, so it might be difficult to see, but right in that area. And I find that I don't have to put a primer down before I put color tattoos down. I can just put them on my lid and then put some dry eyeshadow over it and they don't budge. The other item I'm using this week for a base is the e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow. This one's in Soiree. It's more of like a wit version of a cream base rather than something like the color tattoos. Now this is a pinky, purpley, kind of shimmery, glittery, beautiful base. It is stunning. So that's it right there. It's amazing. These little pots are three dollars. I've had mine for at least a year and it feels exactly like it did when I first bought it. It's gorgeous and it looks really lovely with shadows over the top of it. For my palette this week, 
I have the Lorac Pro palette, obviously, since I'm trying to pan this this year. And then I wanted to pull in something else to go with that e.l.f. eye base. So I pulled out this Maybelline Eye Studio Quad. This one's in number 10, Mad for Moth. That is it right there. You've got some really gorgeous purpley cranberry shades and that green is like the perfect green shade. This was the e.l.f. base and then there are the four shadows right there so absolutely beautiful. I had all four of these shadows on my eyes two days ago and this was my base. I had the green under the bottom lash line so it wasn't mixed in with that purple base. I finally found my Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof nude liner and I put this in my waterline on the mornings when I'm really tired or I look you know like I'm still half asleep you pop it in the waterline and you look wide awake instantly so I have that one I also have the Bella Pierre cosmetics gel eyeliner in ebony this came out of my ipsy bag it actually stays in my waterline and it doesn't flake little pieces off and get into my eyes like the Marc Jacobs one that I tried last week. I'm, I'm so pleased with this and I really have been enjoying it. I've already sharpened it once and I feel like it's halfway gone so that's kind of a bummer that it goes really quickly but it does set really nice on the waterline. Then I have this Kiko Mystery Smoky Eye Pencil I wanted to try out. This one's in number 17. It's definitely like a taupey khaki kind of color, but it's got the most beautiful kind of silvery gold shimmers in it. It's really stunning. So that is it right there. And then if you blend it out, I don't know if this is gonna pick up those glitter pieces. Maybe a little bit right there. So I'm really excited to wear this. I might even wear this as a cream base all over the lid or something. But on the other end of these, they have a little smudgy brush and it's really soft. So you can go right up underneath that bottom lash line or along the top and smudge it out. And I have two mascaras too because I have one that I tried on today that I was going to use this week. And it kind of made my lashes look a little bit stubbly. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to use this one or if I am. I'll let you guys know, but this is the Blink Mascara Amplified. That is it there, and then you open it up and it comes in just a regular mascara container. This is in black. It's, it's a very wet formula, but it's a tubing mascara, so when you're done with your makeup at the end of the night and you want to take it off, you just wet your fingers and you can wet your eyelashes and you can just pull the tubes off of your eyelashes. And then if I don't want to mess with that one, I could use the Benefit Their Real Mascara. It's a really nice mascara, one of my top five favorite mascaras ever. So there's that one. And then for my eyebrows, I have a couple products here too. So I really have been enjoying the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Tough as Taupe in the brows. It sounds weird, but it really does work. It's a matte taupey gray shade, so it doesn't have any shimmer or anything for the eyebrows, so it works really well. Sometimes I've found, though, that the end tail of my brow isn't dark enough, so I have put in my MAC eyebrow pencil in stud. It's not retractable though, you can't roll it up and roll it back down. Once you roll it up, it's Then up. to seal everything together, my eyebrows have been a little bit crazy lately because I've been trying to grow them in a little bit and have them a little bit thicker, but I broke out the Makeup Forever Brow Seal. This is a gel formula and it's transparent. It's kind of like the Anastasia one, but it doesn't make your brows crispy. It's definitely a different feeling because I've been wearing the Anastasia one for years, but this one is a really nice formula and the wand is great too. It has one side of the bristles that are a little bit longer so you can comb through the front and then you can twist it and use the shorter bristles to comb through at the tail. Yeah. Finally onto my perfume. I have two perfumes typically. I like to have a smaller perfume in my purse at all times and then I have a main perfume that I spray on every morning that I keep at the house. So the perfume that's going in my purse this week is the MAC Turquatic Rollerball and I just have a little bit left. I'm right to here and the bottle technically ends right there. So just a little bit left in there. Maybe I can finish this off this week. 
But the main perfume that I have this week is the XOXO Mi Amore perfume, I believe. But this is a beautiful perfume that my husband got for me last um, last summer. Very sweet, really lovely scent. But anyway, that is it. That's everything for this week. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.